mechanism of rains uh, from the clouds uh, aapke syllabus mein mentioned nahi hai but i think uh, this is an important concept you should know no questions asked on this till now but this can be a question mechanisms of rain from the clouds now see our point here is clouds are forms of what condensation clouds kya hai clouds are one form of condensation and what do clouds have clouds will have water droplets some clouds can have ice crystals clouds will also have water vapor bhi hoga plus clouds can have dust particles so cloud ek form hai it has some shape okay it has some physical existence cloud is a form a cloud has water droplets a cloud has ice crystals a cloud has water vapor and also dust particles now our discussion point is okay clouds do not always cause rains kuch conditions mein clouds will cause rains there are examples of uh, a super saturated clouds ki itna zyada moisture hai okay that it is super saturated yet no rains there are examples of super saturated clouds and examples of a super cooled clouds super cooled clouds yet no rains just for sake of analogy okay can you imagine that your process of knowledge acquisition is not same as okay writing and expressing about it do we have examples of people jinke paas bahut knowledge hai they know lot of things but they can't express they can't write they can't talk and there are examples when people have less knowledge but they can express better to basically kuch sochu aap cloud is something that has moisture that has water droplets that has ice crystals but clouds apne aap rain hamesha karte nahi hai there's something that is okay that will force a cloud to cause a rain so there are examples where the clouds may be super saturated the clouds may be super cooled clouds yet there is no rainfall okay there are two mechanisms to understand how precipitation from clouds happen one is called as the bergeron's process bergeron's process it's also called as mechanism of ice crystal growth bergeron's process b e r g e r o apostrophe s bergeron's process or the mechanism of ice crystal growth and the second is called as langmuir simpson's process also called as the mechanism of collision coalescence process is also called as the wake mechanism bhi bolte hain is also called as w a k e wake wake means turbulence bergeron's process also called as ice crystal growth mechanism the second mechanism is langmuir l a n g m u i r langmuir simpson process or the mechanism of collision coalescence ye ek phrase likho aap collision coalescence process also called as the wake mechanism ye jo bergeron ka process hai this operates for very high clouds very cold clouds jahan pe cloud ka temperature is less than 
the freezing point. This operates for mid latitude clouds. Okay. And this largely happens for snowfall. Is may rains be ho sakta hai, but it largely happens for snowfall. It happens for very high clouds. It happens for very cold clouds. What do I mean by cold cloud? Cold cloud is a cloud where the temperature is less than the freezing point. The temperature should be minus degrees. Mein hona cloud ka temperature. Okay. And it happens for mid latitude clouds. Okay. Or SA clouds may there are a pre existing ice crystals. That's why I need the cloud to be below the freezing point because I need to have ice crystals. Whereas, the mechanism hai, this happens for low and mid altitude clouds. It happens for warm clouds. Warm clouds kya hote hai? If the temperature is more than the freezing point. It's a warm cloud. Okay, such clouds, such clouds will not have ice crystals. This happens for tropical areas. It is very common for rains on the waters. The ocean may rainfall hota hai, ya rainfall on the seas hota hai. It follows this mechanism. It follows this mechanism. Okay, and such clouds generally have lot of dust particles and they also have lot of salt crystals. This happens when the cloud has ice crystals. This happens when the cloud has salt crystals. That's why it's very common over the oceans. They're common over the seas, over the oceans and over the seas.